Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and I picked up the Mavic Air the day it was announced, or at least I ordered one, and it came in today. We'll be having a review of this up on my main channel at lon.tv very shortly, but I figured let's do an unboxing here and see what it looks like. So this is the box, and inside it does indeed have a hard shell case. We had some debate here as to whether or not it would have a case that it came with, so let's open up the case here and see what we got. Look how tiny this thing is. Now I have a uh, Phantom 4 right now that I'm probably going to be selling because I was looking for something that was a lot more compact and portable. And this one certainly looks like it without, from what it appears to be, at least from what I saw during the presentation, really few compromises over the uh, Phantom 4 that I have. I'm trying not to uh, damage it here as I open it up, but this is what it looks like here. Very small and tiny. All right, just a quick jump cut here because we did figure out how to get the rest of the drone unfolded here. So we'll have the front ones come out like so. Uh, there are some little landing gears here that also contain the antennas in there too. And then for the back uh, thing here, you don't pull it out, you push it down and it flips up like so, which is a really nice little mechanism there. Hopefully this will uh, stand the test of time and then you are ready to fly. Uh, the other thing is the uh, front cover here on the camera. What you do is undo this part here and then you have to uh, slide it out. And I'm a little nervous about this part because sometimes it takes a little bit of force. So what I would do is just get a good grip on it and just gently kind of nudge it forward to uh, pull that out to expose the 4K camera and the gimbal here. It feels very delicate here. So when you are transporting, uh, you definitely want to put this thing back on, which you do just by sliding it in like so and snapping it down in there. Uh, it delivers about the same battery life as the Phantom 4 that I have, maybe a little bit less, but it does have the 4K camera. Now this one uh, is a 30 frames per second 4K camera. Uh, that is the same as the F Phantom 4 that I have, but apparently the new Phantom 4 can do a 60 frames per second capture uh, with that camera. But what this does have, and I still have to kind of figure out how to un open up everything here, uh, what this does have is the ability to do uh, 120 frames per second at 1080, which I think will be pretty cool. So I'm going to be experimenting with all of that stuff over the next couple of days, and then when we have the main review, you'll see all that. Looks like the battery goes in here, so we're going to unpack this and uh, do it the right way without breaking it, and uh, we'll have more again on the full review that you'll find at lon.tv. So I need to really figure out what the best way to fold this thing up is. I'm going to put this aside for a second before I break something, and let's go into the rest of the package here. The other thing that I bought with this was their uh, service plan. It's like $90 for the year, and if you break your, your drone, crash it into something or whatever, they will give you another one which I thought was a good uh, option to pursue here, given that I'm probably going to be flying this one a lot more and probably will crash it a few times. Um, here are some props that it comes with, some extra ones in case you damage the ones that it came with. And then uh, here are some uh, little bumpers for the props so you can fly it around inside without any uh, risk of damage there to uh, the drone or other things. Lots of manuals to look at here. I'm sure we'll be spending some time uh, going through those. And of course, they're here to help. So that is what you get there. And let's see what else we got in here. This is the controller, and it looks pretty compact here. And what you do is you put your phone in here. Um, so this thing uh, slides open, I believe, and you can get your phone inside of it. Uh, there are sticks that you have to screw on top of this. So uh, let's see if we can get the controller out here. So we slide these things out like so, put the antennas up like that. Then you slide your phone into the grips here, and then the uh, little sticks here are underneath. So what you do is you pop them out like so, and then I guess you just screw these into uh, the little thing here. So that's how you get that going there. So not too hard to get those up and running. Just screws right in and you'll have your sticks there ready to go. This is the one thing I think that you might lose out in the field and drop. So you probably want to be careful with these, but uh, they go into there and again, very compact to transport. This does not though fit inside of the hard shell uh, case that it came with, but uh, certainly not very much to add to your travel pack there. Uh, this does, I believe, require its own batteries, I think. So we'll check on charging that one up as well. In here is most likely the power adapter because we haven't seen that yet. So let's get through and see what we have here. Yep, so we have a power adapter here. It's got two USB ports for charging some other stuff. And I just lost something in there, probably just a little accessory. Uh, here are some cables here. This must be for interconnecting your phone. They've got a USB Type-C cable and a, a regular micro USB in there. And I think... We have a, another USB cable here, and this looks like a power cable for the United States, which is where I happen to live, and that looks like that is it. So what we will be doing is uh, figuring out how to unfold the rest of the drone here and uh, doing a full review, which you'll find on my main channel at lon.tv. So definitely subscribe if you aren't already. We'll be having a 
a full review of this one. And we are very eager to start playing with this and figuring out uh, what makes it tick. So stay tuned, a lot more to come. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, Steve Blixt, Stanley Taub, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.